Hi everyone, it's Karen. Somebody was wanting to cut this font in Design Space and found that, as you can see, as I move the cursor over here, all those red lines is where you get a cut. And bringing these into Design Space is going to cause you issues because it's a whole lot of bits and pieces in there. And she didn't want those anyway. She just wants the outline of the font. So somebody suggested preparing the file in Inkscape. And I started it up and Inkscape and I just don't get along. I was trying to figure it out and it's not intuitive. So I decided to do the tutorial in shortcuts a lot and it does work much easier for me here. So this is what the font looks like as you type it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change my view so that I only see the outlines and you're going to see that it is going to be possible to remove all those little bits and have only an outline because you can see that they don't all touch those the um, the boundaries of the letter. I'm going to make this a little bit larger so it's a little bit easier for you to see maybe. But you see how none of those bits touch the edges. So it's going to be super easy to do. I'm just going to close this. Make it a little bit smaller again. So I'm distorting it now because I didn't resize it proportionally, but it doesn't matter to show you how this works anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose break apart and it's going to break all those little pieces into individual parts. Now you see if I select the S, I have only the outline selected. That means that all these bits are not selected. So the easiest way to do this is to ch choose, you see if I hover, it's going to show in red what I would select if I click. So that part in red, this little bit over here is what I would select if I click. So I'm going to click away and I'm going to hover until I see that the D is selected. Then I'm going to go over to the next letter and I'm going to hover again until I see that the R is selected and I'm going to press the shift key and then click. So that now has those two selected and you can see that the bounding box is around the D and the R but none of this stuff in the inside is selected. So now I'm going to move over to the E and again I'm holding my cursor over the letter until I see the red outline. I'm pressing shift and clicking and I'm going to do that for all of these letters. I can hold down the shift key while I'm doing this and just make sure that only the letter is selected before you click. If you make a mistake and if you make a mistake and as you're going you choose one of these, what you now have selected is the D-R-E-S-S-E -S -S -E and this little bit in the S. So you don't want that. So I'm going to start over with my D, my R, the E, S, the second S, the E, and the last S. And now I know that I only have the letter selected. So I'm going to click over that and I'm going to pull away. Now you're going to see I need the inside of the D and the inside of the R. So I'm going to do click undo, come back here, hover. Okay, so I need to do those first. So you see, if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. You just undo and start over. You can't break things. You try things and sometimes you find out, oh, I had to do something else. So you start over and you do it. So I'm going to do the insides of my letters first and then the outsides. So I'm holding, I'm hovering over the inside of the letter D, pressing shift and clicking, and I'm going to do the inside of the R. And I didn't have any other insides. So now I'm going to go to the outside, wait until my D is selected, click, same thing for the R and continue with all the rest of the letters until I have them selected again. There, okay, so now all of the parts I need are selected and anywhere that I see that cross hatch with the arrow to the upper left, I can click and pull away. And now all I have is the insides of those letters. I can take all of this, draw a rectangle around it and just delete that and I have the text that I want without the insides. The only thing I need to do is I need to make sure that this is a compound path. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge. And now everything is the way it was before. If I go back to view and 
disable show outlines only. Now you see that everything is filled in with the black and that's exactly what I want. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.